Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about exploiting VSF TPD version 2.3.4 using Metasploit. For this lab demonstration, I will be using a virtual install of Kali Linux and one virtual install of Metasploitable 2. Both of my installations for Metasploitable 2 and Kali Linux are up and running. They are on the same network. I am currently using NAT network for this lab. Currently, the IP address for my Metasploitable 2 installation is 10.0.2.5. This is my IP address for my installation of Metasploitable 2. The IP address for your installation of Metasploitable 2 will probably differ. To ensure I have no connectivity issues between my Kali Linux and my target, which is Metasploitable 2, I'm going to open up a terminal on my Kali machine. And at the prompt, I'm going to type in ping, give it a space, 10.0.2.5, which is the IP address for my Metasploitable 2 installation. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back with positive responses. To break out of the sequence, I will press Control C. To clear my terminal, I will type in clear, hit enter. For this lab, we will be using Metasploit. So at my terminal, I have typed in MSF console. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Give it a second to come up. Once Metasploit is opened up at the prompt, I'm just going to do the following. I'm going to type in use exploit forward slash Unix forward slash FTP forward slash FSFTPD underscore 234 underscore backdoor. Once I have all that typed in correctly, I'm just going to hit enter. Notice my prompt changes to let me know that I am now using this exploit. To show what options must be configured for this exploit, I can type in show options. Hit enter. We can see that we have to configure the IP address for the remote host and we can leave the default for the remote port at 21. That does not need to be configured. Let's scroll on back down. And at my prompt, I'm now going to type in set our host using the IP address of my Metasploitable 2 installation, which is 10. Dot zero dot two dot five. Go ahead and hit enter. Notice that the IP address for my remote host has now been set. Once that has been done, all I have to do is type in run and hit enter. We now have a command shell, and you'll notice that at the prompt you don't see anything to indicate that you have a command line interface, but it is there. So if I type in ID and I hit enter, it comes back and it tells me that I'm currently logged on to the remote target as root. And so in this lab, you saw that we were able to exploit the backdoor vulnerability up inside of the FSFTPD FTP service version 2.3.4 using Metasploit. If you have any questions or you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.